They've got money, but we've got people. We've got people. And at the end of the day, dollar bills don't vote, although they try to. We vote. People vote. Young people vote. And it's about time, long past time, that we recognize and understand that we owe our seats, we owe our, our political power because of young people, because of the movement for black lives, because of women, because of the working class across this country. And it's, it's a class issue, it's a race issue, it's a gender issue. We have worked with the Biden administration to secure commitment on a $2 trillion climate plan. We're gonna organize and demand that this administration, which I believe is decent and kind and honorable, keep their promise. And this movement is more than one day. It is more than election day. This movement is more than ever in the election day. It is about people and about transformational, meaningful action around climate crisis. When people don't act, people who look like me die. And so there is just no other alternative right now than to make sure that we have bold leadership. And some people say, oh, well, you can't win or you can't, you have to play this game. Well, I'm done with the game. We can't play any more games because when we play the game, people die. We got to do bold. We got to do change that happens now. We got to make sure that black folks, brown folks, every marginalized group, our indigenous folks feel our change. And so that's why we're here. We need change that everybody can feel. What is more basic than fighting for clean water? What is more basic than fighting for a breathable planet? What is more basic than trying to make sure we get health care for people? What is more basic than fighting for the people you represent? We know that a Green New Deal is not just some platitude, it's not just some conversation that's cooked up in the basement of some corporation. This is a conversation, a movement that's built out of the urgency that people feel in wanting to protect our climate and our planet.